Track It Forward is available on a mobile app, a desktop computer, an embeddable widget on your website, or through a check-in kiosk. Logging hours is simple to do. The only thing your volunteers are required to provide is the number of hours they volunteered, the date they volunteered on, as well as their activity or their organization that they volunteered at. And that's it. If you'd like to collect additional information, you can also add more questions. You can enable conditional logic. This is where additional questions are popping up depending on the answer that you provide. And you can also add advanced verification features. Here, your volunteers can submit signatures, upload selfies, and drop GPS coordinate pins of their volunteering location. Through the mobile app, volunteers can also view their timesheets, see their progress, as well as sign up for events. Volunteers can also access their accounts on a computer. Here they have the same hour log form. They can view their timesheet and see what hours have been pending or approved. And they can also view their progress for their requirements or their milestones. This is optional, but you also can allow your volunteers to see different charts to see how your organization does as a whole with their volunteer hours. And last but not least, volunteers can also sign up for events. This is super easy to do. They simply find an event that they're interested in volunteering for. When they click on it, they look through the different shifts. You can have descriptions or provide as much or as little information as you'd like. They can see who else has signed up for the shifts. And then if they're willing to sign up, when they tap on sign up, they can either send a message to the organizer or just submit their submission. As an admin, you get an organizer dashboard that has a little bit more options than what a volunteer would see. You can have as many admins as you'd like, and you can also assign them different roles and permissions. When an admin initially logs in, their overview page is going to show their monthly submissions as well as their daily submissions by their volunteers. They can submit hours for the volunteers if they don't want volunteers submitting their own hours. And then as you can see here on the top right, they can also see who has already hit their milestones and who else is working on them. The approvals dashboard is for those organizations who either have approvals turned on or the advanced verification features. Again, this is completely optional, but when an organization uses the advanced verification features, they'll have these icons here on the right hand side that'll show when a volunteer had submitted any of these features. You can either approve or reject in bulk, or you can click to expand and review them one by one if you'd like. The reports feature is super easy to use and really simple as well. You can group and filter by any fields that you'd like, pick and choose from the different options, and then update your report. If you'd like, you can export this out to Excel and share it with your organizers. Last are the event signups. Again, this is very simple to set up or to create. You can allow your admins to go in and edit your events at any time. You can see who has already signed up. You can email those attendees. And then after the event, you can also verify the hours in bulk. There's a couple of different ways that those hours can be submitted or verified. Your volunteers can log them themselves and an admin can go in and just approve them. Admins can go in and bulk log and verify hours for their events, or you can use the event check-in kiosk where your volunteer is coming up to you during the event to check in and check out and those hours are automatically logged. We also have a standard volunteer check-in kiosk, and this is for those organizations who don't have events that volunteers need to RSVP for. They need something more like a digital sign-in sheet where a volunteer is signing in when they arrive at the site and then they're signing out when they leave. This is again simple to do. When a volunteer shows up, they tap on sign in, they find their name in the drop down, or if it's their first time, they click on register. And then once they're ready to go, again, they find their name, they click on it, the time is automatically set. For this example, if we update it and sign out, notice it'll say we've automatically logged 1.02 hours for their account. That's it. Easy, simple, and super configurable.